Before I get into parameterizing circles, let's take a look at a simple little example here. Well, maybe not entirely simple. But I just want to go ahead and graph this set of parametric equations, x is equal to cosine of t, y is equal to sine t. I went ahead and just kind of created a bunch of values based on special angles. Everything's between 0 and, or negative 1 and 1, so let's go ahead and zoom in pretty far. When t is 0, I get 1, 0. At pi over 2, I get 0, 1. At pi, I get negative 1, 0. And at 3 pi over 2, I get 0, negative 1. At pi over 4, I get root 2 over 2, which is about 0 0.7 point for each, so somewhere around right there. Pi over 6 is about 0 0.851 half, somewhere around right there. Similarly, this is somewhere around maybe right there. And certainly we could put in more points, but I think you start to see that, okay, we're getting a circle here. Now this shouldn't be a surprise because just based on regular trig if I have an angle here of T this point right here is the cosine of T the sine of T where the circle has radius 1. What if the circle didn't have radius 1? Well, then, if I've got some bigger radius, or smaller radius for that matter, R, again, as long as I measure my angle around this way, in standard position, this point comes out to be r times the cosine of theta, r times the sine of theta. We can use this idea then to parameterize circles that, well, let's start with just ones that are centered at the origin, though honestly we can use this to parameterize any circle with a little bit of effort. But let's say I had a circle and instead of starting over here, what if I wanted to start at the top and go clockwise? Because remember, the parameterization kind of includes this idea of movement. So going clockwise is different from going counterclockwise, and a starting position is going to be different. Well, so let's say I go some distance t around there. Then what is my standard position angle here? This angle here would be pi over 2 minus t. Let's also go ahead and say my circle has radius 5 just because. And there we go. I can basically use this, but my theta is now this pi over 2 minus t, because that's the standard position. So my x would be my radius, 5, times the cosine of pi over 2 minus t. My y would be 5 times the sine of pi over 2 minus t. Now, if you want to, you can actually simplify this a little bit. You can take this and start saying, well, we got a difference of two angles. You can use your trig identity for the sine and cosine of a difference of two angles. And the chi-sine and the sine of pi over 2 are nice, easy values. And so it would simplify down fairly nicely. Honestly, I don't think I care to do that. I think this is perfectly fine the way it is and also kind of demonstrates it better anyway. Okay, let's try another one. 
let's say I have a circle centered at the origin. Let's make the radius 7. And let's go ahead and parameterize it. How about if I start here and I'm going to go that direction. Well, if I go some distance t around like this, what is that angle in standard position? Well, I'd have to do start here and go all the way around to there. Going to where I started was 3 pi over 2 plus that extra t. Once I've got that, then I'm just going into my basic formulas. My x is going to be my radius of 7 times the cosine of this angle my y is going to be the exact same thing except for a sine of 3 pi over 2 plus t okay let's do one more and just to mix things up a little bit let's say the center isn't at 0 0 what if I've got my center at 2 comma 3? Let's just make it a radius of 1, just to make it nice and easy. And how about I start over here and go counterclockwise. Or clockwise. I'm going to do basically the same thing. My angle starts at pi. So this angle here would be pi minus t. I'm subtracting the angle I went through from that. My radius was 1, so I've just got 1 cosine of pi minus t. y is a sine of pi minus t. But those things are how far away I am from that center. So to get the actual point on the thing, it's just going to be the x center was 2, the y coordinate of the center was 3, and there we go. That would give me the points on that circle. It's really very easy. Again, you can take some time to simplify them, but getting the basic equations, there's not much to it.